Welcome to So Good Reviews on YouTube. From director Jim Ho comes a Westlake moment where he continues his sway away from the period piece and general darkness of his work such as Red Dust and The Day the Sun Turned Cold. He basically takes a genre and a template that could be described as cosmopolitan loneliness and a Westlake moment is a therefore a playful delight that juggles emotions to the excess successful extent, almost. Uh, Jim Ho opens for him frantically with repeated frames, an odd sweetness that is then interrupted by darkness. This darkness is, is, and sweetness is the meeting of tea house owner Chiao Yu, played by Yu Chun, environmentally conscious Chiao Tong, and the car that hits them in the rain. They are the only survivors, and they strike up a best for friend, best friends for life kind of deal where Chiao Tong is not afraid to admit his emotions are stronger for her than just the best friends for life kind of deal, but he's happy as long as she is. Uh, she holds him off by playing the immature card, which is ironic because the one she eventually falls for is aspiring director, writer-director A Chin, played by Chin Kun, and he's anything but mature. He's a bit of a playboy rather, and uh, him and Yu does possess some notable sync though, and uh, the continuing coincidental meetings does lead to love. This is love lacking stability though, uh, but Chao Yu is looking for safety and perhaps turmoil for her is acceptable. A Westlake moment is filled with equal beauty, a quirky offbeat tone thanks to dream, daydream sequences detailing the respective inner angels slash devils of Chao Yu and A Chin. Hers is a child called Sha Sha Bo, and his is a red dressed insane man who is a product of his movie imagination and this man is played by the director himself, Yim Ho. Uh, but themes of the continuing spiral of love that seems to be heading downwards does come full circle despite these odd detours I'm talking about. And the biggest challenge for Yim Ho though is to get some kind of audience sympathy towards the male lead however, because it's the aspect a Westlake moment treats too internally, as clearly uh, our female lead is continually dating an immature bad boy. That's a movie, that, that's a choice to criticize, but I'm quite delighted despite uh, uh, because of the clearly staged cinema that manages to speak in a realistic manner. Uh, therefore, elements are not forced, not even the stuttering both main characters have when uh, nervous. And even the clear case of schizophrenia in Chao Yu is played off perfectly normal. So I guess the ultimate point of the story is that emotions has a way of blocking the clear picture that has to do with romance, creating wear, tear and scars in persons that really should be looking for stability in a different way. Jim Ho's feelings on the matter are perhaps the hardest to swallow and the final verdict of a Westlake moment sways in its final moments. Because in a way Jim Ho leaves matters open-ended and oddly enough gets acceptance of that story structure. And it's not due to uh, a viewer infatuation with the playfulness, uh, the delight and the true emotions on display and the real heartache on display that, uh, that is presented. That doesn't block the balanced verdict. It all just makes for a fine-tuned, challenging romantic drama. And coming from a director like Yim Ho, it's one of his most accessible, easy watches ever as well.